if you travel to a certain spot, roughly, oh, ten miles to the North Pole, ask any polar bear and he'll direct you, you would come to my house. It was Christmas Eve, which is the busiest night of the year for me and my little helpers. Let me introduce you to them. This stout little fellow is Stubbs. And standing on top of Stubbs' head is Stubbs' best friend. We call him Socks. And keep your eyes open for specks. Ah, here he comes. Whoops, a daisy. Oh, and this is Pockets. We've never seen his hands. We think he's holding his trousers up. This cheeky young rascal is Pimple. He usually gets himself into trouble. Old Tash is next. He always gets the wrong end of the stick. And here we have Conk, trying to break the Guinness Book of Records for Christmas present carrying. This is no time to rest, Conk, said old Tash. <laughs> We've got to get the sleigh loaded. That's me, handsome fellow what? Just doing some last minute book work. And this here is Ruffles. He knows more about sleeping than anyone I know. Except perhaps faithful old Garibaldi. As you can see, he needs his beauty sleep. Slight is loaded and ready to go, Santa, said Conk. I thought I'd just get these blooming boots on. <laughs> You've done an excellent job. Do you think you'll be back in time for the party tonight? asked Pimple. Why, oh, yes, of course, you cheeky little chap. After the party, we'll see what presents you've all got. Stubbs always changed to a clean hanky Christmas Eve, whether he needed it or not. Preparations are being made for the following day. And at one house in particular, one little boy called Sam was to have a Christmas he'd never forget. <coughs> Sam's mother asked what he was hoping to have for Christmas. I wouldn't mind a skateboard. But what I want, what I really want, more than anything, is to meet Santa. Well, I'm afraid it's time you were in bed, she said. Garibaldi, old chap. Sam's house is the last delivery on our list, and it's off home to the slap-up party. <whistles> oh. Ah, ha, ha, I mustn't wake anyone. Oh, let me see. Getting weaker. Oh, ah, hey, well, that's our job done. But I'll tell you what, Garibaldi, 
I'd like to see all their little faces Christmas morning. I bet they'll be smiling from ear to ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely lost control because of that little boy. Why, of course, a little boy. Here I am, Santa. Up here. Stay calm. Don't panic. Ah! <clears throat> Santa, Santa, are you are you okay? Said Sam. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm 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 okay, Sam. I'd better take you home. Oh, but first, if you like, I'll, I'll take you to a party at my house. Yippee! shouted Sam. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes, we'd better go or, or we'll be late for the party. saw his coming. He's got someone with him. It is most irregular. Look, it, look, it, it's a little boy, said Stubbs, trying some acrobatics. Oh, uh, a little boy, thought old Tash. Friends, this is Sam. He's come to our party. Let me introduce Stubbs, said Specs. Hello, little fellow, said Socks. My name's Conk. That's why. They can't talk, said Conk, pointing at the motley crew in the sleigh. looked on as Pimple asked Sam if he would like to help lay the table for the party. Come on, I'll show you round, he said. At this point, some of us took a well-earned rest, while others just took a rest. You take the Christmas pudding, I'll take the cherry cake, said Pimple. But first, I'll just try one.
farm. Same every year, only one cake left. Good old stuff saved the day. Well done, Stubbs. At last, the table was set ready for the party. Pimple was the first to sample the goodies, starting with his favourite sandwich. Marmalade. Tomato ketchup. Ugh. Socks had been jelly slurping since the age of three. <laughs> Conk was having his usual trouble. Need I say more? <laughs> Specs always enjoyed his Christmas cake. much of it. Garibaldi was having his usual dish of cherries, but it's mind sharing. Stubbs was rather fond of Christmas pudding with his cream. In fact, we were all rather fond of Christmas pudding. Ruffles had Christmas pudding in sandwiches, of course. I think it's time to see what presents you've all had. Pimple was first in line for his present. Stripey socks. Time he had a clean pair. What else could we get, Pockets? He just needs a few more hands now. Conk was happily reading about the largest nose in the world from his present. Stubbs always wanted to go up in the world, so we gave him some stilts. Elton John glasses. Yes, very nice specs, specs. Old Tash combed out the Christmas cake crumbs with his present. For Garibaldi, life was just a bowl of cherries. But to Ruffles, we met a plate full of cucumber sandwiches. Oh dear, Sam, your present is in your sock at home. Now let me think. Um, ah, ha, 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 ho, hum. Why, of course, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. It's the best Christmas present I ever had. And the best Christmas, said Sam. Let me show you. Let's have some carols, said Specs. Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you
you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us a Vicky Pudding. Now bring us a Vicky Pudding. Now bring us a Vicky Pudding and bring some out here. Thank you.